Hi Libra, this is your March forecast. If you'd like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. All of this uh, month you are looking at what your day looks like. So your schedule, your day-to-day -day things, uh, who you take care of, your own health, uh, and your work critical skills as well. And the only place this month where you do have some challenges is with your finances. So you might find that you're ill this week, uh, this month, so that, or, or someone you look after is. You might find that work is a bit uh, tiresome, a bit challenging, a bit stressful, uh, because the Nine of Wands, is saying, look, I'm trying really hard to get what needs to be done. I'm trying to expand. I'm trying to meet all of my deadlines. I'm trying to get a job. I'm trying to get my debts um, sorted. I'm trying to pay everything. I'm trying to get everything done when it comes to my career study and finances. But I'm really tired. I'm, I'm hanging out for a break. Um, there's a lot of challenges here. There's a lot on my mind. And it's a lot of hard work. So it's um, saying that you're determined to get to that finish. You're working really hard. You might be a bit stressed. Um, but you've got things already done behind you. So you do have those um, that work completed. You do have uh, the qualifications. You do have all your ducks in a row. It's just it's taking a lot of uh, time and stress for you. And um, battle worn. So maybe you're just completing something or nearly at the end of something and you're looking at it and saying, oh, thank God that's finished. Or, you know, um, I just need to get through this to be able to get through that. So if it's a money thing, it's about the deadline and it's about the crossover period. If it's about a role, uh, again, we're coming to an end and we're looking at what's next. And some of you, it's about, you know, I'm trying to get a job, I'm trying to get a job. The sun is coming out in that area. On your long term, you're looking at, um, you, you know, changing what your job looks like, um, changing the partnership that you have, uh, the contracts that you have. And um, coming back into either working for somebody else or your passive income or relying on the other in your life. What you need to take action in um, is, you know, closing off um, the tap that is um, running. Any loopholes, any areas that uh, are spending more than they're bringing in. And what your home life looks like. There needs to be some new structures put in place. If this is about debt, then it's about... Uh, a budget, um, who pays what, the share, the lion's share, all of those areas. When it comes to your home, you do have something to celebrate, something to raise your glasses to. So again, if this is coming to an end or it's been a long haul and you finally got there, whatever it is there, you could be celebrating that at home. If it comes to the um, a couple, then you're celebrating um, a partnership. We're coming together, so again, engagement, moving in, getting married, um, or even pregnancy. Um, celebrating as a couple over our children. This card here says there's something to bring home, be jubilant, be celebrating, and it's the end of a cycle where, you know, we've, we've got that harvest to share with all of those that are around us. If it's about a home, you know, it's taken a while to um, pay back our debts or it's taken a while to get that loan through, we're celebrating because we finally have that. When it comes to your health, we do have a victory, we do have a yes, we're spending money on ourselves, we're looking good, we're feeling good in the public eye. Sixth house is solar plexus, midriff, bowels, colon, intestines, and abdomen. It's also healing by practical measures as well. So what you spend your money on um, this month towards your health is going to be knockout. It's going to look great. Uh, when it comes to your love, major arcana cards. So this is settling down with or meeting someone. Now this is Aries, uh, Sagittarius or Leo. Um, something's blossoming. Something uh, with abundance. Something with a um, fruitful, um, a fruitful partnership. We're also looking at this card as um, being more relaxed about the relationship that we're in. So this is long-term couples feeling feeling good. We're celebrating, feeling like we have abundance. If this is um, single and looking, being feeling really good about what your options are out there, feeling very relaxed about it. Now the cards, do watch your sun, moon and rising because I got these cards for other signs as well. So Crystal says, look, what's just over the hill, you can't see it yet, keep the faith. I know it's there, you don't have the faith right now, but keep it because it is going to be there. Sonia is a loved one that has passed. It's helping you um, at the end of your cycles. This card says, you are at the end of a cycle in life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. And lastly, Archangel Michael, he's the head of the deck and he's giving you the courage uh, and the strength and the power 
to be able to feel strong in what it is that you're doing uh, through any of these negotiations or these uh, big changes in life. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi Side Jack, may the force be with you.